what's going on everyone, Naka here. Hope you all having a wonderful day today so far. And as you guys can see, today I'm bringing you something a little bit different. Well, actually way different than what I normally bring you. I've actually never brought an IRL video to this channel before. This is gonna be the very first one, so don't mind the iPhone quality. I don't have a real camera or anything, but shit, if you guys enjoy the IRL videos, maybe I'll have to get one. In the meantime though, you guys are gonna have to deal with this iPhone XR. Also, I don't know why the flash is on in the mirror. You guys can barely see me, but oh well. So what I'm gonna be bringing you guys today, it's not gonna be a vlog, well, technically it's a vlog, like kind of, but it's actually going to be my gaming setup video. I know this video is long awaited. I actually said that I would do this video when I hit 5k on YouTube. And boys, I'm literally at 59.93 right now. I'm 7 subs off 6k, so we'll probably even have it by the time you guys see this. But yeah, basically I saw a card on this video, and today I woke up and I was feeling under the weather, felt like shit, honestly, didn't want to record a gaming video. Realized I was a few subs from 6k, and I was like, you know what, what better video to make today than my IRL gaming setup video. So without further ado, let's leave my bathroom and actually go to my room. I'll show you guys around. And we are here already. Let's go, boys. Look at this, the whole room. All right, let me start over in uh, this corner real quick. I'll start, oh, sorry about all that smoke, by the way, but, uh, or vapor, but yeah, we'll but start in this corner. I got the mirror here. I'm gonna sit on my bed. Uh, like I said, sorry about the vapor. I woke up a little sick, so I had to get the humidifier going. That's probably why I sound congested, if you guys can hear that. Then uh, we got the TV. This is where I'd watch like Netflix on or anything if I'm in bed. What do we got here? We got, oh yeah, these are all my console Call of Duty games. Hold on a second. Ah, uh, here we go. See, so yeah, this is where I put like all the discs. Wait, are they, ah, here they are. Yeah, I got all my 360 discs. And I put that right on top of my backup 360, which is like my two box. I use this a lot for playing Shake, like for getting an enemy on the enemy team and for call outs and stuff, but I don't really touch it at all anymore. Especially now they got an RGH, but who knows? Maybe if I need a dummy or something, I'll reconnect it one day. Uh, what do we got down here? All right, so we got a trash Xbox 360 controller from GameStop. Like, these ones are so poorly made. I gotta hate them. Uh, old Call of Duty games. Yeah, the cases for them. Old stuff like that, like controller cases and chargers and stuff like that. Oh, we even got the Young Happy Feet. All right, moving out of that corner, I got uh, this little, like, painting on the wall. I think it's pretty dope. Uh, I got this right here so it doesn't put a hole in the wall or anything if it hits it too hard because it's kind of heavy. Uh, what do we got over here? The G Fuel Shaker Cup. Let's go. Yeah, this is just like all dirty stuff that needs to go through the wash or the dishwasher. Uh, the clones and deodorant. You know, gotta stay fresh, gotta stay hygienic. Old vape juice. I don't vape anymore, but yeah, just kept those there just in case. Some old broken watches. Got the G-Shock throwback to like seventh grade. I don't, yeah, no time or anything. Gotta love a G-Shock though. If you remember those, you're a real OG. Uh, we got the dirty laundry over here. Oh, the clean laundry in here. Let me show you guys real quick though. We got that UC merch on top. If you guys don't know, we're actually coming out with a new merch collection. It'll be our merch collection number four. Uh, if I remember, I'll throw the designs on the screen, but if not, I'll put like the tweet in the description. That's coming out 7:20, so July 20th. Be on the lookout for that. That's the setup, but we're not gonna go to that yet. I'll show you guys the rest of the room. I got these uh, two chairs right here and then a love seat. So if any of the boys come over and wanna chill, we have a little spot to chill at. Just a bunch of random stuff over here, like eight ball, uh, air freshener, scissors, like nail clippers, bunch of random stuff on this table. And moving on from that, this is where stuff starts to actually get good. So we come over here. Oh, here, let me sit real quick. And I'll show you guys what we got. So we got the shoe collection mixed with the G Fuel collection. We got the maroon sixes, win like 96 11s, royalty fours, cool gray fours, Oreo fours, then just a bunch of random shoes I wear here and there, the Air Force ones. Damn, I can tell in my voice I'm getting congested, so you guys probably can too. Then the only two G Fuel uh, cans I've ever had, I almost said cups, but that would be Phase Berry and Blue Ice. Then the only three tubs I've ever bought, these two, oh wait, no, I cracked this one, but the hype sauce, still uncracked. Yeah, PewDiePie, hype sauce, and Shiny Splash. Then down here, we got the box that my GPU came in. Moving over here, we got all oh, the slides on my laptop. I'm gonna turn this on real quick. Okay, maybe I'm not gonna turn it on real quick. I guess it's dead or something. Uh, the mic stand that would have, well, that would have been used on my Blue Yeti, but it didn't come with the other side. It came broken or whatever, so yeah, I don't. My fan right here, which I'm about to have to turn on. Let's see if you guys can hear it though if I turn it on. It's probably too loud for the video. Yeah, I'll turn it off till I finish the video, why not? Oh, let me stand back real quick actually and show you guys this. 
the blackout curtains. These are perfect for making videos or streaming or anything like that during the day. I don't wanna show off like my full neighborhood and dox myself, but you see if I open it a little bit, whole lot of light coming in. And when I'm recording videos, I don't want my lighting messed up like on my face or anything. So for the best video making quality, blackout curtains are the move. Sometimes though, I'm not gonna lie, I lose track of time. Like hours will fly by, it'll be daytime, then it'll be nighttime, I won't even know. But enough of looking at curtains, let's move on to the actual setup here, huh? So, Let's start with the chair. Uh, trash chair, I'm not gonna lie. It's like some office chair that's falling apart. I don't mind it at all, I like it. Everyone tells me I need to upgrade, so shit, maybe I'll upgrade eventually, but for now, I like it. We got the gaming headset. Once again, like a $10 gaming headset. I actually got it for free for filling out a survey, so nothing special in this department. Um, yeah, could probably definitely use an upgrade, but hey, they work, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right, let me take a seat in my chair real quick and spin around and show you guys what we're working with for the setup. Hey, you guys probably recognize this view from the videos. All right, we'll start off to the right. So I got my tissues, all my cleaning, like my Febreze, computer, keyboard duster, all that. All my extra controllers that I don't use up there. My phone with all the trick shotting memes on it. Oh, hopefully you guys can still hear me. I just got far from my phone mic, but uh, if you guys don't know, before I go live every night, I'll post a meme on Twitter. And most of those are old memes. So I get them from my old phone right here. Oh, this little thing with the poop emoji is a vacuum. So here, let me show you. I don't really have anything to clean up, but I'll turn it on and see that little thing gone. Little vacuum. I got the PS4 controller, which is actually connected to the PS4 right now, but that's not on. So let me turn that on quick. Bunch of old destroyed stickers and stuff on here about like Boston, I don't know, fuck all those. My keyboard is uh, CyberPower PC. I got this one for free from my boy Avic, shout out to him. Definitely need to dust it off as well, look at that. I'm living in filth right now, boys. But yeah, shout out to him for hooking me up for free. I might need to get a better one eventually or like a 60% or something, but I don't know. I'm happy with this for now. Same thing with uh, uh, the mouse. He gave me this one completely free as well. And I don't know, shit, it's cool, boys. It lights up, it does everything I need it to. I'm not a PC, like a K-Bam gamer. I've never changed the DPI or anything. I just use the mouse how you're supposed to use a mouse. Wow, I have to hold this really weird right now to do this. But yeah, guys, this is my PC. I'm gonna actually gonna pull up the specs real quick because I know a lot of you guys care about that stuff. So let me go to the properties. And yeah, here are my specs, boys. I got an i9-9900K at 3.6 gigahertz, 16 gigabytes RAM. Windows 10 on here, and uh, my motherboard is an Asus Z370E, I believe. It might be a Z390E, actually. That sounds right. Like I said, I'm not big into computers at all, so I don't know all that stuff, but Z390E, I believe. I'll put it in the description when I know for sure. I'm gonna ask my boy I bought it with. My bad if that just cut out. My phone just died in the middle of recording, but I'm back now. I was talking about my PC specs. Uh, that doesn't have GPU listed there. And I know I showed you guys my GPU box before and it says 2080 Super. That's actually just the box that it came in. The GPU that I have is a 1070 Ti Founders Edition, but my homie just gave it to me in this box. So shout out to him for that. I get the cool box. Oh yeah, I was showing off my shoes before. I didn't show you guys. These are completely beat, but it's got these two. Can't complain. Oh yeah, moving up, I have the Logitech Brio webcam and I have a ring light behind it. This is how I get the lighting on my face for the videos to be perfect. I just have to stare at this light the whole time I'm recording. Nah, I'm actually used to it though. I don't really notice it anymore to be honest. Here, this is getting annoying, so let me take my headset off my armrest real quick where I normally put it. I'll throw it on my desk for now. Uh, I have these, I think they're Logitech speakers, right? I'm pretty sure that's like a Logitech. No, oh, that's definitely not a Logitech symbol. I have no idea. Oh wait, wait, they are, I'm right. So yeah, boys, I got Logitech speakers as well. I also got hooked up with these from my boy Avic once again, so shout out to him for that. Man, literally gave me like half my setup. That's when I first started streaming and stuff, guys. He had faith in me and gave me some equipment to start with, and without him, I probably wouldn't be streaming or doing this. Uh, I got my headset plugged into the speakers because I don't use the mic part. For the mic, I use this bad boy right here. We got the Blue Yeti. I got a little fuzzy part on the front of it for the pop filter. And then I actually have a mic arm. It's on my desk a little too tight. Well, I don't even have a desk. If you guys can see, I literally got this table from Ikea. It's literally just like a $30 black table. Oh, my wires are a mess too. Look at that, boys. I got them all taped up under there and stuff and like tied up with shoelaces. Not even all of them. Some of them are going crazy, but... But yeah, moving on, I got my other webcam. I don't use this one anymore, but it's the one I used to use. If I ever do like a controller cam or a second view, I'll turn this one on, but I never really do anything like that. My second monitor is right here, obviously. This one uh, I use for like reading chat and stuff while I'm playing on there when I'm streaming. We got the RGH right here. Hold on, let me turn this on. It's not plugged into like an uh, actual monitor or TV, so it won't fully go on, but you guys can see. 
it was blue. It's not gonna do the uh, circle around it going blue because like I said, it doesn't have any signal. But yeah, that's basically what my modded Xbox looks like. That's the reason I don't need that one over there anymore. But uh, we got the UC sticker on top of this one too. Holy shit, that's a lot of dust. Look at that, boys. I forgot to clean off, my bad. Guess that's living a dusty ass setup, huh? And then finally, right here. Well, not finally, we actually got a, a few more things, or at least one, but I got this remote for my LEDs. If you guys can't see, I actually have an LED strip going around back here. It's way more obvious when my lights are off. So let me go do that quick. Alright, then I have to like lean behind this chair to turn them on because the thing is like back there. But I just keep hitting the power button. Come on, eventually it'll work. Hey, there we go. Right now they're on like multicolored. Oh yeah, all the colors are off too. If I hit red like I am right now, oh that one actually works. Green, yeah, green goes to blue, and blue goes to green. But yeah, this is what it looks like behind the setup. Red is personally my favorite, but it all looks pretty cool. I think I need more though to like fully maximize how they look in the setup because it just kind of cuts off behind there. What else do we got? Oh, let me turn the light back on so you guys can actually properly see the room. My bad about that. All right, let me turn these off as well real quick. Come on, just work. Hey, there we go. Uh, moving back over, this is actually the controller I game on. This is the PS5 controller. You have to use it wired, so I use like the wire that came with my MacBook, the USB-C. For some reason, it's not a normal USB. Oh my god, boys, I didn't realize until I put the flashlight on it like this how dusty my PC was, too. I swear I'm about to be dusting off my whole ass setup after I edit this video. But yeah, the PS5 controller, pretty dope. You can actually change the colors, too, from blue to, like, okay, let me show you guys the program real quick. It's called DS4 Windows. This is the program that makes PS4 and PS5 controllers actually work on, um, whatever, work on PC. But look, now that I turn open this program and that's set to pink, the controller is pink itself. I can make it any color. It's actually so dope. But yeah, my controller is actually a little dirty right now, low key, but high key. This is like one of my favorite trick shotting controllers I've ever used. Nothing's gonna beat Xbox 360 in its dusty state. Like there's literally no better controller for trick shotting, even just gaming in general than that one. But hey, I really do enjoy this one. I like the PS4 one as well. I hate the Xbox one. So I'd have to say this is like a, a mix between the PS4 and 360 kinda. I don't know, I fuck with it though. Like I said though, I still do got the PS4. I never really use my PS4 because now I have PC and I have like all the COD games on here. As you guys can see, I got 4X, MW3, Pluto, Ghost, AW, MWR, BO3, IW, Modern Warfare and Warzone, and then Cold War, so. Oh yeah, and that Pluto includes World of War as well. So I basically have like all the Call of Duties that I need, but I don't have BO4 or World War II and I do like those games. So if I ever want to play console, I actually have, hold on, let me show you. Is it, oh, where is it taped up under here? It's somewhere. Hey, there we go. I have an Elgato HD60S, which is a streaming one for literally no delay. Like not even a millisecond delay, I don't believe. So here, let me open up the Elgato game capture program and you guys will see whenever it loads. Hold on, give it a second. Hey, there we go. Okay, let me click out of the back. Let's say one moment, please. And then, yep, welcome back to PlayStation. Press the PlayStation button to use the controller. I turn it on and yeah, it's working fine. Hey, and we are in. I'll shout out G Herbo in the background, but yeah, we're on the PS4, and there's literally no delay, boys. Look at that. As I hit right D-pad, it's going right. So I can play on literally the same screen. Uh, I can make it full screen if I want to, or I can just minimize and back to my PC. Hey, guys. Nekin from the future here. Little fact I forgot to mention in the video. I can actually take the HDMI cord out of my PS4 and put it in the back of my RGH. If I do that, I'm actually able to play using the Elgato program to play on my RGH, my Xbox 360, whatever you call it. I haven't touched it in months, but who knows? Maybe I'll make a video throwing it back to Xbox 360 soon. All right, I'll let you guys get back to the setup video. And then finally, I think I've showed you guys everything besides my actual PC, which me and my boy Av once again built. Uh, he did most of it, I'm not gonna lie. Here, I got an external hard drive right there. Uh, this is, I think, the cord for my mic. I don't even know. All the cords don't matter, though. Here, I got the 1070 Ti, like I was saying. Shit, it's kind of hard to see in here. But yeah, um, I got a cooler master. I don't know. If you guys know parts, then you'll know what's in my PC. I don't personally know. Oh, that's, uh, I think, the motherboard. Oh, Z390E Strix, okay. Okay, I said Z370E before, so now I know it's the Z390. Uh, anything under there? No, nah, I don't think so. Yeah, that's basically the full inside of my PC. Oh, I got that back there too. 
Um, but yeah, it wasn't a pre-built. Like I said, we just bought all the parts and we built it. It was a few thousand dollars too, I'm pretty sure, for everything. We kind of went crazy on this. It could have better parts for sure. I know I'm definitely bottlenecking my CPU with my GPU, but hey, I'm not made of money, guys. And GPUs are hard to find right now. Oh, one last thing. I might have forgot, maybe not. The UC sticker on the Xbox 360, boys. Those are available, as well as the merch that's gonna be dropping to urbancruestore.com. And yeah, that's basically my setup. I actually have two more things to show you guys. My guy, AuthorsOGK, was nice enough to send me his app folder real quick. He actually sent me his app folder for his newest app and his last app. So here, let me show you guys those real quick. We got his newest app right here. And then if we walk over here, we actually have, this one's much bigger. This was his last episode. So yeah, huge shout out to Altos for that. Now nah, I'm joking, I'm joking. But that really is the end of the setup video, guys. And I'll walk over back to the vape smoke again. Shout out Vape Lord Nord. And yes, sir, we are back over at the mirror. But yeah, like I said, this is gonna be the end of my setup video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did watch a full video, you're a real one for that because I know a lot of you guys just come to this channel for the trick shotting uploads. So, and now you get to see the behind the scenes of the trick shotting uploads, where they're made. Like I said though, if you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to drop a like rating on it and also drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know your favorite part of my setup. Do you guys like my PC? Do you guys like the happy feet? Do you like the vape? Do you like the cologne? Do you like the couch? Do you like the bed? What do we like guys? Let me know what you guys think. All my links will be in the description, including my Twitch where I'm live every other night. My Twitter where I tweet way too much daily about like upload streams and if I need help with uploads, a bunch of random stuff like that. My Discord will also be linked there if you guys ever want to come and say what's good to me or just meet new people in the community. Definitely a good place to do so. Uh, like I said, my team's merch store, you see, you see will be in the description, but so will our store, urbancruisestore.com. New merch drop coming out at 720. I'll be leaving a link in the description to the uh, preview of the new merch. We're going to be dropping a few shirts and a few tapestries, like a flag. Oh, speaking of that, I'm going to have a huge UC tapestry right here on the wall, boys. I probably should have waited to do my gaming setup video till it was there, but hey, now you guys know. You guys know about the merch drop early, so I guess it was worth it. I got a little bit of promotion out of it. But yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow with another banger upload. Thank you so much for watching today's upload. I really hope you guys enjoyed, regardless of the fact that I wasn't trickshotting or anything, and it was an IRL video. And yeah, peace out, everyone. Neck out.